Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We are in the boat this afternoon for a little project. Uh, we're going to be doing a safety update on the wiring in my boat. Um, this goes back to when we ran the power supply for our Garmin LiveScope install, which I did myself. There's a video on the channel on that. And a lot of people made some comments on that video <clears throat> about where my fuse was on that power line. And a lot of people mentioned that I didn't really have it in a, in a safe place because it's so far along the power supply. It's too far from the battery. So I guess most of the time when you're um, installing a fuse, you want it to be within like eight to 12 inches from the battery. So it protects the full length of that run. Um, I didn't realize that. I wasn't thinking that when I did the install. So I really appreciate everyone pointing that out. Um, and I'm here to correct that today to make sure that this stays safe. So I'll show you where the current fuse was installed. And this was kind of just because when the power harness from Garmin comes, you know, from the factory in the box, it's just at the end of your, it's at the end of the power wire. So I just connected my long run from the back to it. And it just, where it ended up was where it was. Um, and I'll show you, <clears throat> let me get you some light. It's right here in the locker, which I thought was a good spot because it's accessible if I need to get to it. And it was just kind of tucked up inside the locker, <clears throat> but that's a good 12 feet, let's say from the battery. Uh, and, and that's a risk and I didn't realize that at the time. So like I said, I'm glad people pointed that out. I'm happy to learn the safe way to do things. Uh, so we're gonna fix that today. So we're gonna go install a fuse in the battery compartment um, within let's say eight inches of the battery and we're gonna put another inline fuse right there. Should be pretty quick and easy. I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so here in the battery compartment is that Garmin power supply. It is connected to the main house battery here and this is the wire I installed to this switch and then from here it goes up, tucks in under the side of the gunnel of the boat there and goes all the way around to the front. So <clears throat> there's a significant length of wire that is not protected by the fuse. So what you're supposed to do is install a fuse probably in this area here so that the entire run is protected. That makes sense looking back on it now, but it just didn't occur to me at the time. Um, so we're gonna fix it. So I'm going to disconnect this wire, probably cut it about here, and we're just gonna in insert an inline fuse right there. Um, I'll double check to see, I believe it's a 10 amp uh, fuse that we'll install, but I'll just double check and make sure I have that right in the Garmin manual. And then uh, we'll be good to go. So let's get started. All right, so this should be everything we need for the job here. I did double check. It's a seven and a half amp fuse that Garmin re uh, recommends. So we have that there. We've got our butt connectors and some heat shrink tubing that will clean up everything with our heat gun. And then we've got some wire cutters, some crimpers here. And uh, I'm gonna use this to disconnect the power wire from the battery to get started. All right, well, I clipped my power supply, disconnected from the battery, snipped it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this inline fuse on one side, and then we'll see if we can get it installed in the battery compartment. I may need to take that other side off of the switch. Uh, but let's get this installed, get our butt connectors connected, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I ended up just disconnecting both ends of this wire. I disconnected the other end from the switch there just so it was easier to work with. And I got my inline fuse attached on both sides with some heat shrink. There we go. And all we have to do now is plug or install this back on the battery and then on the switch. Okay, we have successfully installed our new inline fuse much closer to the battery, so we should be that much safer. Now you might be asking, what about the other fuse? And what if there's two inline fuses on the same run? Well, as far as I can tell, it's just gonna be redundant. Uh, I mean, the biggest drawback, I guess, is if one of them blows, I gotta check both to find out which one it was. Uh, but it's, I mean, I'm assuming it's always going to be the one next to the battery. So this one up here is probably 
just uh, redundant and probably not going to cause any problems. But, you know, leave me a comment or make a suggestion if you think it's going to be an issue. I may, just because I'm OCD, I may eventually go back and, and remove it and splice the line together again. But it's one of those things, you know, it's working right now. I don't want to have to try to find the extra six inches of wire back there somewhere. I don't know if I have enough extra wire back there. So, you know, I'm going to leave it for now. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you think that's a bad idea. Otherwise, uh, thanks for joining. Again, thanks for all the comments to bring the safety concern to my attention. I like learning things and I like keeping the boat safe. I'll catch you in the next one.